What's up guys? I had some people asking me to make a quick video showing my cable management and my setup at the moment. So it's pretty straightforward. I have two power conditioners on the top row and I have my interface. It's an Apollo quad, my Axe FX2, and there's a tuner. Uh, there's a secondary audio interface that I use for live shows and there's a patch bay. So let's take a quick peek around the back. I started with the home security and the modem. Made sure that all the cables were fastened and tied down just so that things aren't moving around. And I use these cable ties so you can get those just about anywhere. Over to the computer, I have three SSDs tethered together and I have all the cables passing through the hole of the back of the iMac stand. And this keeps the cables nice and neat and out of the way. And it gives it the illusion of having a very minimalistic look. But as you'll see in a second, I have a lot of cables back here. So it does look a little bit messy at first glance. It's probably the best I could do. First thing I did is I tried to select cables that were on the shorter side. Secondly, I served the power adapters and I used cable ties to fasten those since those are a little more permanently in those locations. And then for spools of cables, especially the ones that I might be swapping out every once in a while, I use Velcro wraps to keep those together. But because it's Velcro, I can easily just take those out and I can move these cables around or swap them out, especially with these XLRs. Another thing worth mentioning is I have this giant power supply for my Apollo and it was pretty tough to get out of the way. So I ended up wedging it there above my Axe effects. It fit perfectly and I used a two-sided tape to keep that into place. And moving over to the other side, pretty simple, not much going on. I have a few more cables tied. Pardon the camera shake, I'm just handheld here for now. So let's take a look. We have the speakers going down into a spool with cable ties and then we have the tuner power adapter is all tied up and nice and out of the way and then we have lots of extra plugs back here so the rack space really does come in handy for hiding cables and I do highly recommend this setup uh, when I was looking into it this desk was the cheapest option I could find and you can buy it at Long McQuaid if you're in Canada it's called the Yorkville deluxe studio workstation Lastly, what video would be complete without mention of a couple of guitars? So I have my Dingwall and my Jason Richardson Signature Music Man, which is my favorite guitar. Thanks for watching.